Hey people, welcome to another Lockdown Extras video and welcome to the Backyard Mark 1. This is the first time in about 60 days we've crept out of my backyard where we've been building jumps flat out to this backyard which was the original, the OG, the first prototype backyard. This is my compound. There's a lot of new people that have arrived at this channel during lockdown, a lot of new subscribers that might not even be aware of this place. But this is my freestyle, hardcore mountain bike compound where I've learned a lot of my trick bag. I've trained for massive competitions all around the world and it's all gone down here. I've got a big slope style setup with an 11 foot drop, big, big flat drop into a huge kicker, a mulch jump, a vert wall, a quarter pipe. And today's excitement is gonna go down here on the airbag. And Ben and I arrived about 20 minutes ago and were in hysterics, <laughs> like laughing so much at how big this takeoff is. It's nine foot tall, which is very big, but just our perception of size and scale has changed so much from being locked in the backyard, digging, digging jumps that are about this big. And I noticed throughout the series that we sort of started saying that they're massive because I genuinely believed they were. It took so long to build. And now I come here, stand next to this, and we were... <laughs> Can you actually stand by it? Yeah, we were laughing so much. I can't believe I built this, <laughs> and I can't believe the tricks I've done on this. It's Double massive. backflip, 720 no-handers. I've ridden it on a mini kid's bike. Yes! Yes! Woo! I'm standing next to it now. I can't even believe I've ever ridden it. <laughs> it's huge. It's a scary time for professional mountain bikers going back to competitions at some point having not ridden big stuff because this scares me. <laughs> this whole place scares me. It looks like Jurassic Park. It's all overgrown. It's like a jungle, but it's cool. It's very cool. And today I'm coming at it from a brand new angle with my first ever 360 camera. If I slip off that lens protector, this thing's cool. So it's an Insta360. I've never ever owned a 360 camera. I've never got 360 footage. Ben's never edited 360 footage. Nope. So it's got a camera on the front there and a camera on the back there next to an LCD screen, which is super cool, super cool. It's got two cameras on it. So it's gonna be very interesting today doing some proper tricks and filming it in a way that I've never done. And supposedly with this thing, you cannot miss a shot. You can frame it any way you want. You can point it forwards, but choose to shoot backwards after you've filmed it all on your phone and put it straight online. So that's what we're gonna be playing with, but also it's just, we've crept out, we're back at the compound and I've got, a, I've got a safe airbag to practice tricks on and sort of get back into the swing of things because it has been a long time, but I'm happy to be back here. It's unreal. So let's get into it. That feels amazing to be back doing stuff like that. That rolling is huge going down it. <laughs> it's like it's never gonna end. It's amazing to be back doing tricks and such like a, a chill environment landing on a landing that big, that mellow, when the last two months have been occupied with perfect front wheel precision landings and trying to nurture the dirt and not break it when you land. So sick. I really appreciate stuff when you come back to it fresh. I think we should start playing around with this. I mean, obviously it's got 360 in the name and two cameras, but usually I'd just shoot some chest cam stuff here and head cam. And you can actually use this as a POV camera. You pop the battery off, actually slide it apart. What? Yeah, yeah, how cool is that? That's insane. That's your LCD. And then I'm gonna push the normal forward facing POV camera on. And now that's set up as an action cam. So I can just chest mount it. So let's do that. Let's do a few forward facing chest cam head cams and then do the 360. What's that um, red thing? That battery. Yeah. Nice. Which is cool. And like, it's not a big battery at all, is it? The whole thing's no bigger than the sort of stuff I'm used to working with, so. I'm buzzing to try something new. I had, I've never had a new camera. Like, we've used the same kit for ages, haven't we? Yeah. Let's get up there, I'll do a chesty shot first, 4K. On the screen, you can toggle the settings. I can go all the way up to 4K, 16.9 for YouTube, 60 frames per second. And then it's got flow state on, so the, like, the stabilization's insane. Let's see how that looks. Looks cool through here. Wait, what trick should I do? Um, three bar, 360 bar spin. Yeah, that's the best chest cam shot. Yeah. Hit it. Woo! 
Yeah, that looks oh. sweet. I'm going to angle it up a tiny bit, but I think we should do a way higher frame rate. Yeah, get and it. then we can see how much we can slow down the bar spin. In 1080, it goes all the way up to 200 frames a second. This will look good. You ready? Yep. Twice as much bar spinage for twice the slowage downage. <laughs> Let's just throw it on my head quick. First time people have seen my hair. Oh. I lost a bet. Is it weird that I, re I just really like the fact that it's got the red there? The look of it. Yeah, it looks yeah. nice. Very on brand with Red Bull. There we go. We're on. Yeah, I'm going to do a tail whip. 200 frame tail whip. Right, here we go. Get it. So it works so good just as a standard action camera, like the sort of camera I'm used to working with. But now, this is where it's going to get interesting and a bit spicy because I'm going to use it as a three. Oh no, I can't use it as a 360 yet, can I? No, I have, you need to dismantle it. I have to make it, it into a 360. <laughs> That's what I'm used to working with, your standard quick and easy bike park footage. Now, let's learn. So if I take that off, get the 360 one out, which has got the lens protector on. I still can't believe this. I know, it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, bolt that together. No, I've got the wrong bit. Can you tell it's my first time using it? And now, I've made a 360 camera. <laughs> you can't believe that, can you? No, is it, so it's literally got a lens each side. Yeah, one that side, one that side. So yeah. you actually can't miss anything because you frame your shot after you've filmed it, which we'll find out. So if I put this together, stick the battery on, put it back in the case. I'm going to use this narwhal mount now. Narwhal mount? Sick, yeah. Because it's steep. That's the narwhal mount, which is a funny name after our trails. Wait, oh, it's actually called the narwhal mount? Like, yeah, yeah. That's actually so funny, I haven't even thought of that. Oh, I thought you were making a joke because the jump looks like that. <laughs> no, it's oh. literally, that's what they call it. So it's like, like the actual animal we named our jump after. Cool, okay. Right, so theoretically, on that mount, it doesn't matter what way the camera's pointing, what it's doing, obviously I'll tie it up in a sec, but after you shoot the shot, we can decide whether we want it to face forwards, backwards, start facing forwards, look at the bike. I've even got a little lens cleaner here. Oh yeah. But I have no idea what that's capable of, but we're about to find out. Mental. You actually look like a narwhal. Thanks. I get it now. I wonder how that looks. Well, the thing is, I've tried to get a shot like this before on a really, really long stick, but this can do it closer, I think, because it's so much wider. So even wearing a helmet like this, it didn't fall off my head. I was quite scared that the weight of it would put it down, but you don't even feel it. We need to go and play around with it. That could be the shot of a century. So here's me dropping in for a three whip on ultra wide. You'll see the camera naturally stays pointing forwards despite the fact that I do a 360. So already that's a very unique shot that I'm stoked with. But the power of this app and the 1R combined is this. I want to start this shot with the camera pointing forwards and then I scroll through the timeline like this just with my finger and you add points. So I add a point there, maybe I want to look up a bit, scroll forward a bit, add a point again, move the screen a bit, add that, Scroll a bit more, add another point. Because I want to take off facing forwards and land facing backwards. Add a point, scroll a bit further. Now finally, if I frame it like this, add a point, the camera's now facing backwards. So let's look how that looks. Tap play. Mate. So. This is insane. A simple, and now I can export that and put it on Instagram which is incredible. But the power of that is, obviously I'm riding on my own, but very commonly when we're not social distancing, I will follow riders, riders will follow me. So I could have dropped in then following you, Ben. Mm -hmm. You could have done a trick in front of me. Perfect framing. You can't come out of frame because I can find you afterwards. You land, someone behind me, whoosh, spin the camera around, catch them. You actually Insane. can't miss anything. And the other thing, let's say halfway through that tail whip there, 
I can adjust, I could go zoom in, zoom in more. Mate, oh, that would that looks nice as well, doesn't it? Oh. Look at the shadow. Or go all the way out to this like cool tiny planet oh view. Oh my god. Well, I look like I'm 360 and over the over the globe. <laughs> tiny planet. Let's watch that bit back. It will like pan out. It's wow. just sick. <laughs> oh my it's just god. unique. And we'll put those in now so you guys can watch the actual clip. I'm gonna get another shot now, but I think the more I play with this, I'm a very new user. I'm scared of 360 cameras because I thought you need a degree in computer, IT and editing to make it work. But it's really just a mobile phone. We did one trick then with the narwhal on and I've, I've got an infinite number of angles of it. I'm very stoked about this camera. Should we go upside down? Get it. Do a backflip, backflip no-hander, super wide. I've. I've never had a camera where you can see a backflip no-hander. I love how we're figuring this out as we go. <laughs> no. Mate, I just realised at the top that on the screen you can drag around and frame and check what the view's like. What? So look, the, the lens is pointing that way but I can see the rolling. I can look down, see how the helmet looks before I even drop in. Didn't even realise. That's cool, isn't it? I'll do a decade. We've oh. done a three whip. A decade could look mad. That will look mad. Yeah, I love the unknown of filming. We literally film all the time, and now we've got this new thing, which means we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> but we're discovering new stuff and new steez. I'll get up there now. Yes. Oh, yes. Woo! So oh, it's sick. It's been a while. I did not know when I took off how to do that trick. I had a blank. So sick. First ever narwhal to do a decade, mate. Yes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've never worn one of these. It's called the back bar. If you've ever played video games where you control a character, that is the shot we're about to get. It's literally going to look like a drone is following me the perfect distance behind, <laughs> which a drone would never do that close. But look, I think, see all the bounce in it? As I jump, it's going to bounce like that yeah I should probably stop doing this um, <laughs> a normal camera would be freaking out because it's 360 and perfectly stable and like has horizon lock it should look incredible I'm gonna do another 360 tail whip yeah so we can get this because all going on in front oh man video game stuff get it oh can you turn it on please yep <laughs> thank you you feel like you're controlling me right now all right then three whip That could look sick. It will look good. Cool. Suicide, I think. Yes. Back facing, length right back, arms out. Unless the weight, no, I shouldn't be tip the bike. Because anything like a tuck no hander would look weird. Yeah. Too close, but something where you, it's facing, it could be facing the takeoff, and as you get to the lips, spin round. Bosh. <laughs> Being back riding the compound was such a nice feeling. Hitting a big, big smooth kicker and just being fired into the air is what I've missed about biking. It's, it is really this place. It's the buzz of slope style. So that was amazing. And then having this to play with for us to sort of experiment with new angles, new shots, has been a, it's kind of added a new lease of life to POV footage, hasn't it? A lot Definitely. is possible. I can't believe they can fit a dual lens in such a compact camera. And then we realized you can run the else, like the screen facing you for vlogging or obviously like, yeah, it's very clever. It's very clever. We really figured it out as we go and to have already mastered a few shots that are so different to what we're used to is sick. So it's been a good session. It's been a good session. We will come back here more. If you've got ideas of what I should do here, but more so what you want to see, because I know a lot of you might not have experienced the compound much through YouTube. It is here ready and waiting. So just need to bang a lawnmower over everything. It's been good. <laughs> Yeah, another good lockdown extras videos before being back at the trails, grafting, digging. And for all you Australian viewers, today is 26 degrees, which for a British male is almost unbearable, isn't it, Ben? <laughs> yes. It's terrifyingly hot. I've got pads on and everything. It's disgusting. I know you get 26 degrees in the winter, but for me, this is my limit. 
So thanks guys, cheers to Insta360 for sending me the 1R, it's sick. I'm gonna use it a lot on the channel, especially at bike parks. Downhill riding, I think this is the mountain bike camera. I'm sold. If you're interested in this camera, there is a link in my description where you can purchase one. They are super cool. So thank you to Insta360 for sending me the 1R360 cam. Thanks to you guys for watching the video, supporting the channel. Enjoy the weather, stay safe, you're all legends. For twice the slowage downage. <laughs> slowage downage. <laughs>